Hi my friends and uh, welcome, my name is Darren Miller um, and I thought I, I'd post a, a video today and there's going to be obviously more videos that will be coming along as well um, from my experience on um, what I did and especially me being on the receiving end and the uh, giving end of having to get an X back um, and I, I pretty much followed like a, um, a procedure, a, uh, a blueprint if, if I know it's probably quite horrible to say that, but um, in order to get the people that we want back, we have to follow a, a, a blueprint. And um, I'm going to take you through the steps of what I basically had done. And hopefully, you know, if you can take a couple things from there that can definitely benefit you, then that would be great. Um, if not, then, you know, I wish you all the best. But uh, what I did was, especially when um, my partner, um, my partner and I had broken up at the time, um, but we, have, we are back together now, um, we... Um, we had broken up and I had to have a, a long think. Um, and this is this is the time what people call the grieving part. Um, you know, you need to recuperate, you need to have some time to yourself to relax and know what you did that was wrong. Um, because if you had broken up with somebody uh, or that person, so let's, say, let's say for instance that person had broken up with me. I need to know what I had done, you know, what I did for, for that person to break up with me. So at that at that point, I need to have some, some space, you know, not interacting with any other opposite sex, do you know, some time to myself, because if I can know the the, the issues that I that I went through or, or the problems that I caused for our relationship to break up, then at least I can move forward for another relationship and rather screwing that up later on down the line. So what I suggest is at that time, have some grieving, know what you've done that's wrong, once you know that you've done this wrong, now in that time, I always say, give yourself a two month gap. Because what you want to do, you want that person, you know, that you've, uh, that has broken up with you or, you know, that person that's on the receiving end to realise that they've missed you. And that point is really, really important because if you're hounding them and sending them texts in that time, you don't give them any time to realise that they miss you. And at that point, so it, there's only a couple of things that can happen in that couple, uh, two months gap. Um, one will be you let them either um, get a phone call or you'll get a text message. The other one is you won't hear anything. Now, if you do get a call or you do get a text message, don't respond back. Now, if you're the person that's thinking of you wanting to call them, wanting to text them, don't call them, don't text them. Give that space of two months. Now, if you if you um, don't hear anything, it's not let's not say it's a bad thing. It could be potentially a good thing. But even even still give that two month gap now once that two month or around about two months has um, passed send a quick text message now if they have sent you a text message obviously in that two month gap you haven't responded but when you do respond that will instantly put a smile on their face and, and then they will be thinking about you constantly once you have sent that text message you know give them a courtesy call and start that relationship building again because not only that's going to help you but that's going to help them you don't want to come on too strong you just want to chip away a bit at a time you know turning that engine a, a, a little bit to hear that clogs turning now once you've start you know talking and texting each other you know a couple a couple times um, a day then what you want to do after that is just you know bring up in in general conversation you know let's um, catch up meet up for a, a drink now that is powerful if you're gonna if you mention anything like date uh, you know, um, I, I'm, I miss you, then at that point you're putting too much pressure on the situation. Let's make it casual. Now, once you've made it casual and you've met up, then it's really, really important to start building and, and start, you know, both of you can um, start connecting again. And that's the power. That's like what I call the, the blueprint. And, you know, it is the best of breeds that everyone has been using. And, and uh, hopefully, you know, you can gain a really, really, really good benefit because it has helped me and I hope, for, you know, I hope it does help you. Um, so, you know, my name is Darren Miller. And um, if you do decide to have more information, you know, come and um, pass by by the, uh, the relationship spot. And there's great info there as well. So, um, you know, take care and see you on the other side.